Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python loop statement. Loop statement means a particular piece of code or a statement needs to be executed multiple number of times. In order to do this, we have two loop commands. One is while loop, another one is for loop. In this video, we are going to see about while loop with some sample program. What is while loop? In while loop, the statement will be executed multiple number of times till the condition is true. In other words, it will check for the condition. If condition is true, it will execute condition code. And this will be in an iterative process till this condition becomes false. If it is false, it will come out of the loop. The syntax for while loop is while keyword, the condition, colon, then we have to enter the statements. Now we will see with the sample program. The first program is to print the numbers in the ascending order till the mentioned limit. First we have to initialize i equal to 1. The number starts from 1 or 0 as you wish. Then while here we have to give the condition i is less than or equal to I want to print the number till 6 then colon. Now we have to print the numbers. What will happen now is it will check 1 is less than or equal to 6. It's true. So it will print number 1. Then in the second iteration the value will be 1 but we have to change this to 2. For that we have to increment it. So use the assignment statement i plus equal to 1. The literal meaning of this is i is equal to i plus 1 i equal to 1 plus 1 the value will change to 2 then 2 is less than or equal to 6 this will be true then it will print number 2 and this will keep on continue till the condition becomes false when the i value is 7 7 is less than or equal to 6 which is a false statement so this will come out of the loop just adding one more line so that we know the execution is completed now we will run and see the output is displayed. It starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and when the condition is false, it came out of the loop. If you want from 0 to 6, change initialization to 0, then run it. This is how the while loop will work. Hope you got an idea about it. The best thing about Python loop statement is we can add else statement to the while loop also, which is not available any programming language like C or Java. Now we will see how to add the else statement to the while loop. Same program. I'm just copy pasting it. The syntax is very easy. After while type else colon enter. Now print the statement. I am printing else statement as else statement is executed at end as mandatory. One concept you have to remember is once this condition is false, it will come out of the loop and it will definitely execute the else statement. Just execute it. After execution, it starts from 0 till 6. After that, it printed the else statement. Then it came out of the while loop and finally it printed the next line. Another important concept is infinite loop. A big note to all the programmers now, we have to be very careful while floating. We must avoid the infinity loop. Infinity loop means the condition never becomes false. It means the execution will never end. Such loop is called an infinite loop. In case if you face any issue like that, just press the control plus C to come out of the loop or to stop the execution. Let me show you an example. The same program if I am commenting this incrementing means what will happen the value will be zero always and this while condition will be always true so it will not come out of the loop now I will execute and show it is keep on printing the zero value this will never end just stopping the execution let's do a quick recap Python has two loops while loop and for loop the while loop will work in such a way that this condition will be executed till it is true. In case if the condition becomes false, it will come out of the loop and we saw to program and we can add else statement to the while loop and we have to be very careful while creating the condition to avoid the infinite loop. And you can find the materials in this URL which I have mentioned in the video description. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.